Okay, so we're gonna start talking about the commercial um, patterns and we're gonna uh, look at the outside of the envelope. So I have, um, or just go over it. So first thing that you will see is the company's name. And this is from Simplicity. And then you have the pattern number, which is 1417BB. Um, and then it tells you the sizes there. Um, and this one is 20 wide to 28 wide. Um, and for this one, most definitely there um, are probably uh, smaller sizes, are definitely uh, smaller sizes. And we will go over um, when you have to get two sizes. Like if your bus, if it's a top and a bottom and your bus is much smaller than your hips um, and the pattern, um, it's not easy, uh, easily to grade, you will have to go ahead and get two patterns, but um, we'll go through that when we get to the other side. And then of course, on the front, it has a picture of um, the garment that you want to sew. And then it has, um, usually it, it'll either have different pictures of the views, um, or this one has the actual style lines. Um, and this is telling you that A is, I hope you can see that, A is slim, B is curvy, C is average. Um, let's see, and I think that's it for the front. Um, and sometimes there are different um, collections, and this is Amazing Fit collection, so you may see that as well on, on the front, okay? Moving on to the back, which is the most important part. Um, and this is how to pick your size. And so um, you most definitely want to take your three measurements. You want it, well, four, really. You want to take your full bust um, measurement and make sure all these measurements, your, um, your uh, measuring tape is parallel to the floor not crooked or anything like that. And you also want to make sure that it's snug. I don't know, a lot of people that I hear, you know, like, oh, don't make sure that it's not snug. You know, it's loose. No, <laughs> don't do that. You want to make sure that it's snug. You don't want it to rip into your skin, but you definitely want it snug. You do not want it loose at all. You want it snug. Um, and so you want to take your full bust measurement um, and make sure to have on for ladies, make sure to have on a proper fit, fitting bra when you take these measurements and make sure to have on um, tight fitting clothing, whether it, or preferably in, in your undergarments. Um, but if not, if you're having someone else measure you, make sure to have on um, fit clothing. So you have on leggings, um exercise exercise bra or you know exercise shirt that's tight fitting those will work so again the measurements is your full bust uh, measurement um, and then you want to take your high bust measurement and that is basically your chest measurement okay and it's um, directly underneath your armpit going over your breast okay so that's that one. You want to take your waist measurement um, and to find your natural waist measurement and to find your natural natural waist, basically bend at the side. And wherever you're bending, wherever that, um, you know, indentation is, that's your natural waist, okay? And then you want to take your full hip um, measurement and that is the fullest part of your booty. <laughs> so make sure to measure... Uh, around that and again you want to make sure that the tape is parallel to the floor and you want to uh, when you're measuring you want to measure snugly very snugly um, you, you don't want to like you know really um, um, dig into your skin but make sure it's very snugly okay um, so those are the four measurements that you want 
And just for reference, if your high bust and your full bust are more than two inches, um, you will probably have to do a full bust adjustment because in pattern sizes, you are at least a C, okay? If it's under two or two or under, um, more than likely, um, you'll be able to fit um, the pattern bust area in the pattern without making any adjustments, okay? Again, if you're over two, you're gonna have to do a full bust adjustment. And if you guys want me to teach you how to do that, I can do that as well. Okay, so let's go over um, some of the items on the back of the sheet. And I need my glasses for this one, so I had to go get my glasses. So again, you'll see the pattern number. 1417, 1417, 15 here. 15 is the number of total pieces, not just based on what you're gonna make, but the total number of pieces within this envelope, okay? And this again is the style lines, basically what you saw on the front. Um, looks like they gave you the front view here, they gave you the back view here, okay but these are the style lines. And all style lines are just showing you where basically darts are, um, um, princess lines are, uh, zippers are, kinda. Um, you know, if there's a vent, like these one has a vent. So any um, foundation construction um, type of, of lines. Um, will show up here okay so and then here it tells you the name of the pattern so this is a mrs. woman dress with individual pattern pieces for slim average and curvy fit and a BCD cup sizes for mrs. and CD double D cup sizes for women fabrics it gives you recommended fabrics here um, so uh, lightweight to medium weight fabrics such, such as, and it gives you an example of brocade, chambray, cotton type. So it gives you uh, some of those. And when you get, it's not here, well, this is one. So Ponty. Sometimes, especially when you see, um, when you get into sewing knits, you may not see Ponty. You may see double knit, but a, um, a, um, a category of the double knit or what falls under a double knit will be a ponty. So uh, most definitely all of these, you can actually go into a fabric store and say, um, can I get, can you show me where chambray is? Can you show me where your cotton, um, you know, cotton fabrics are? So these listed by names, you can go into the fabric store um, and actually ask these by names, but some you may not, like if it said, for example, a double knit, it may not say double knit in the fabric store. So that's why it's very important to um, start your uh, fabric book. Um, and I didn't give do uh, a video on that, but most definitely I plan on doing that because um, that's very important. Um, so you get to know your fabrics. Um, and the different stretch qualities and different characteristics of your fabric. So those are the fabric choices that, that this designer felt was best um, for this design. And then it goes on to the notions. And notions are everything else that you need in order to complete um, the garment. So here it lists thread, it lists 122 invisible zipper for sizes 10 to 18, 124, for sizes 20 uh, wide to 28 wide. Um, so it tells you everything else you need in order to uh, complete this pattern. So now, the meat of it, right? So this side is just in a different language. So, you know, we kind of ignore this side. So it's just here that we're gonna be paying attention to. So body measurements are those measurements that I told you to take. Okay, those are just straight body measurements that you that you take. Um, and that is how you initially pick your pattern envelope. 
okay and so for me i am a let's see i am a 42.5 in my bust and i'm a 48 in hips okay so um we're going into grading in a little bit but usually when it comes to patterns that has a bodice and a bottom i would have to grade okay typically so a 42 and a half um there is no 42 and a half for the bust okay there is no 42 and a half but there is a 42 so i'll probably just use a 42 and for hips um i'm a 48 there is a 48 here and so 48 so let's start with the bust and that will be the bodice up here um so for a 42 i'm a pattern size uh 20 wide and for the bottom portion uh, my size is 48 so my pattern size is a 24 um w so again so that tells you that i would have to um grade the pattern and initially what you're looking for is to see if those sizes are contained within the envelope that you have or is it two separate envelopes um, those two sizes are contained in this pattern envelope that i have okay um so that's initially so that's what you do initially and let's say that we are picking uh dress c okay dress c which is here that doesn't have um a sleeve basically that's the only difference it doesn't have a, uh, a sleeve okay so let's go back up to um so we're doing dress c right so whatever that larger number was that's kind of what i would go when it comes to um or that's a, what i would use for to say how much fabric i would need okay so that was a 48 right so and i'm doing dress c so 48 it's saying if it's a 40 wide bolt i would need three and a quarter yards if it's a 60 bolt i would need two and a half yards of fabric so that's what i would use i wouldn't use the smaller one um the smaller number my bus i would use the larger number because obviously i'm gonna need more fabric um and just to let you know the sizes you're typically if you're just getting a cotton type fabric um, the width would be 45 and that's unfolded off the bolt um, anything else is usually a 60 60 width just so you would know um, so um, but let's talk about ease because if you look at this if you look at this pattern I would say this is almost like a uh, semi-fit you know it's not meant to be very loose on the body right so let's see how much ease is in this pattern and that's where it comes uh garment measurements and when it says garment so that's body measurements which is what you took with your tape measurement measure um garment measurements is the finished garment measurements once it's all sewn up so that includes your wearing ease and that's just to make it comfortable, basically. Just think of wearing ease is so stitches won't pop, so you'll be able to sit down, uh, be able to walk in it. So just your bare minimum ease. Your design ease is everything else. So this won't have too much design ease because it's kind of meant to be semi-fitted. But if you think of like a A-line skirt or something more flowy, uh, the design ease will have a lot more room to that garment because the design ease is used to make that design. So it's to make it flowy or is it, you know, um, things of that nature. So let's look at for my 42 bus, the bodice portion. Okay, let's go down and see what the final measurement, garment measurement will be. 
and it says that there's no B cup there. So they're moving it up to a, um, a C cup and it is 45. So a finish is 45 and a half. And my measurement is a 42 and a half, right? So that's three inches of ease. Okay, so three inches of wearing ease and design ease combined. So I'll just use ease um, going forward, okay? So ease, there's three inches. And when I tell you, that's a lot <laughs> for me. Um, that's, that'll be very roomy um, in the bust, okay? And a good way for you to tell this is take your tape measure, measure um, flexi tape, uh, um, no, your, your flexi tape, and then um, put it on 45 and a half and put it at your bus or whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, don't use 45 if that's not yours, <laughs> whatever your measurement is and whatever the finished garment size is, put yours at that amount and then put it around your full bus and see if that's what you want. Some people like it that loose. If you like it that loose, leave it there, okay? If you don't, then you can say, oh, well, let me try uh, going one size down for me. It would be a 43 and a half. Uh, you know, make your tape measure um, the 43 and a half and put it at your bust and see what that feels like. And 43 and a half for me, and remember my measurement is 42 and a half, 43 and a half for me is just right. Okay, so I, instead of cutting at my bust, which is 42, which is a size 20 wide, I would actually be cutting an 18 because basically of the final ease. Okay, so let's do the same thing with my hip measurement, which was a 48. Now, I know two inches is, is enough for me. Because all I do is, again, I put my tape measure at 50 um, and put it around my lower hip and see, you know, put it there, see how much room I have. And I, with the tape measure in place at my lower hip, I actually sit, sit down. You know, is it too tight when you sit down? Is it just right? So I do, I do all that with the tape measure in place um, at the ease. Um, so let's see, it's at 48. Final measurement is, um, let's see, at the C cup. Ooh, let's go down. Nope, we're not at the cups there. That's at the hips. So at the hip, it's 51 and a half. And what do we say we was doing? C, right? C was average. So let's see. We were 48, there's a lot of things in here. Okay, so an average at the hip was 52, okay? So my body measurement was 48. Final measurement here, once all sewn up, is a 52. That's four inches of, of ease, combined ease. I definitely do not need that. That will be swimming um, on me. 50 is more than enough, so I will go down. So normally I would have to cut, according to my body measurement, was a 24 wide, but because I can tell I only need 50, I'm going to be cutting the 22 wide. So again, I will be grading from the 18 pattern size to the 22 wide pattern size. 18 for the bodice, 22 for the lower portion. Um, and we can go into grading. I will show you how to grade as well. Um, what else did I want to tell you about? Oh, most definitely. Um, what I want you to understand with um, pattern sizing is it has nothing, zero, zero to do with your retail size. So don't think you're going into Macy's or any other your popular store that you like to go in and say, oh, you know, you know, if you're normally a 12, you know, don't think that you're a 12 here. 
pattern sizes for the companies, for pattern making companies, are totally different than your retail sizes, okay? So don't, don't equate them at all. And just go straight by um, your body measurements. So that's how um, you read the pattern envelope. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, and hopefully you guys could see that because I couldn't see my camera while I was doing this. Um, but hopefully, you know, um, you found some uh, information, useful information with that. And if you have any questions whatsoever, um, let me know. The next video, which I will probably do tomorrow, we'll be going into this. We will be doing, the first video, we'll be going into the pattern instructions, going inside the envelope. And we'll be talking about the, the pattern instructions. And then the, uh, the next video after that, maybe the third video, we'll be going into the actual tissue paper um, and the symbols that's within the tissue paper and what they mean. And then maybe the fourth video would be about grading, okay? So if you have any questions so far on the outside of the envelope and, and determining either how to take your measurements um, or how to determine what your measurements would be here um, and what uh, pattern size envelope you would get and then what actual um, size you will actually cut to make your final garment. If you have any questions on that, let me know. I'm here to help. I look forward to any of your questions. All right, you guys, you guys have a nice evening.